Hello everyone. It's time for Shadow of Judgment Eye. This is for the week of September 27th to October 4th. I actually haven't been doing any of the Zodiac seasons, and I don't know why I should. But we're already this far in, so it's like, fuck it, we'll just start with... Um... Okay, we'll start with Sagittarius when it comes up, and then we'll go from there. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow, I just nailed the head on that one, didn't I? Oh, Sagittarius' card. Um, let me drop another one. Because I don't think that's fair. That's confusing. Okay, we'll go with, um... God damn. Okay, we'll start with fire since they popped up first. I just didn't know because it was the Wheel of Fortune. It was just like, hmm. Wheel of Fortune. That's what you get fire signs, but it's reversed, so be very wary. Alright, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Fire signs, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. This will either resonate with you or it won't. Either or, honestly. Like, cross watch or switch where you need to, if you got to. As well as the main sign, right? Also, if you want a personal, all the info's down below the music in the description box. Newcomers, first one's on the house. Everything comes with a price after that, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Okay, so Aries, you're up first. You might definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. We got the Devil reverse as well as the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Like, someone got out of something terrible with another person, like bad connection. Some people call it toxic relationships. And it's like, it's cause like, possibly somebody was a uh, mistress of sorts, right? Somebody wants to come back in from the cold. Maybe that's why this Queen of Pentacles is a little pissed. She wants to come back to a situation that no longer exists anymore. Someone possibly left it to be happy. And she might be trying to manifest something that's only gonna end up hurting her. In the end, of course. Let's see. Justice card, Libra. Ooh, King of Pentacles. Yeah, she's trying to manifest her counterpart, and I feel like she'll do so. Despite herself. Okay. So, Aries. Let's look at right. It's like there's somebody who either is wanting, it could be a Capricorn, or it could be dealing with a Capricorn, um, but it's like somebody kind of wants out of a bad relationship in order to be happy. We got Leo's card, the sun. And they think it's going to bring them justification or justice with Libra's card. Well, yeah, Libra's card, um, the justice card. Like, it's good karma to close this door out. And I feel like this Queen of Pentacles wants to manifest her King of Pentacles in order for her to feel happy again. But at the same time, this is like a wanting to get out of the cold situation where she feels like she's just hurt herself by trying to start something new with this individual where the door is closed right it's like she wants to make the effort she'll even go to as far as like betraying her own self just to start something so she can be with her mate but it's almost like on the other side the door is closed and they aren't opening for shit it's like this makes five of wands right here it'd be conflict you know, why they hold up? I got a bunch. So they're excited today. First of all, someone's been thinking about shit, right? Possibly about how not nothing's been changing or nothing's died and become something different. So now it's like they want to move forward to go somewhere. Right? But they feel like they don't have a lot of options when it comes to where they can take a break. It's like a constant battle with them, and it's always got them in their feelings a lot more than what they would like to be. And they want to drive somebody away, I feel like, just so they can start something new. But that also means that that person probably wouldn't come back, either. And if it means starting something new to do this, that's going to be a lot of regret somebody doesn't want to deal with. 
Okay, okay. Wow, that's a hell of a week, Aries. Yours is all, you like, drama? I swear. So why is this door closed? Exactly. King of Wands. Could be Leo you're dealing with, for sure. Or it could be you, because I'm throwing my cards everywhere. This has been having a lot more... It's like my cards no longer want me to, like, just pick them. They just toss themselves, like, hose the money, right? This King of Wands right here could be Leo. It could be you, Sag. It could, or not Sag, but it could also be you, Aries. Uh, I'm just listening to everybody but you. My bad. Um, you could be looking at all of this about how someone might be a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe not feeling like themselves. Maybe they feel like they're broke. Maybe they feel like they need to do something, and that's leaving them feeling like, um... There's a king of wands has a broke bitch behind his back, and, like, there's a queen of swords who just happened to notice her. Like, someone's a little bit irrational in this. Could be Libra, once again, showing up. Also, Gemini or Aquarius. Um, unable to make a choice about which world they want to choose. Because I feel like they're afraid of that tower. I feel hesitation. They just want to have a good time. But this Queen of Wands is just all nettled. She is nettled like a kettle. Mm. That's yours, Aries. Yours was a lot. That's for your week coming up. Leah, let's see what's going on for your week. For September 27th to October 4th. Oh my god. Okay. That's fair. I need to start doing these like in the morning before I go to work. Because that would be way easier. And then like I wouldn't have to wait all day. Uh, someone doesn't want to offer their cup up in a very childish manner. They'll probably be like, mm, I don't want to deal with you anyway. You know? One of those snide little things to do, right? But there's action, something changing very quickly, something drastic coming when it comes to like possibly a workplace scenario or trying to work together with you and two other people. Three people trying to work together could also be a workplace affair if it comes down to that. But I don't know, it's more like y'all are just working together to try to orchestrate something. But somebody isn't giving their cup up. Could be a water sign, Leo. Right? And that's probably pissed you off. Um, someone is not offering their cup to you. And so now you're kind of restrict, or you're the one restricting your cup for whatever reason when it comes to like something, right? Like something's moving swiftly and that's like a happy ending with the 10 of cups right here. You got the little husband and wife with their arms extended out like they're on the fucking Titanic before it sinks. You got the kids playing in the background, just dancing, just being like, Cha la 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 you know like the smurfs or whatever because that's a really happy tune yeah you're trying to manifest in all this but you for some reason you're restricting your feelings and i don't know why but you're trying to manifest some craziness and it seems like restricting whatever it is you're feeling is the wrong idea with the ace of swords reverse like the sword is just about to drop the crown and now and then it's gonna be dirty and shit hmm what are you mulling over, I wonder, for the week? If you, then your crosswatch, or one of the two. Boop. Oh, there's the Wheel of Fortune reverse. But here's the High Priestess reverse. Mmm. Leo, either you or your crosswatcher, or whoever the hell it is, right? is restricting their feelings, holding their strength back. They have the wrong idea about it, and that's not going to get the wheel to move, right? There needs to be a cooperation, and it seems that can be manifested. It just requires you to come out of your possible isolation, possible self-analyzing state. But I'm worried that somebody here might not do that because the high priestess is here. It might be someone isn't revealing secrets, or someone's just ignoring their intuition outright with her. It could be a Pisces, right? But there's a really quick change. <clears throat> something moving very quickly. Something happening for you. That's going to bring your 
happily ever after, but it's like you still got other things you're thinking about, too. Like, it, it even sent a cup down to be like, hey, taste this. This is part of the land where we're going. It's fucking expensive kind of shit, dude. I think it's Hennessy, you know, like, I don't know if Hennessy's expensive, honestly. Um, never really drank it before, so I don't know. Um, but it's like, you're looking down at all of this stuff that, like, is bothering you, but you're not noticing, like, the cup messenger that's bringing you a message of the stuff that's coming your way. What are you possibly ignoring, possibly keeping secrets about with the high priestess? Hey, sir. You want to be happy like a naked kid on a horse just riding around, carrying a flag, great. It's your card. But there is a water sign, once again. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Either you might be coming off as a bit selfish, or the person you're dealing with could be a water sign is coming off selfish when it comes to what makes you happy. You know, um... Acting like a martyr, wasting time, hanging out in a place where you shouldn't be. And it's like, since you keep hanging out there, the door is going to close soon. If it hasn't already. And then that's going to leave you with a bunch of shitty options. Alright, well, tread carefully, Leo, because I'm not sure what you're going to do with that one. Sagittarius... It's time for your shadow this week. I've been getting silly with this. Next week, it's going to be done in the morning. I promise. That's, I hate making you guys wait for stuff. Okay. Sagittarius. We have the full clean slate because... <laughs> wow, okay. Um, so over here... You're totally looking at the shit that's just like, maybe that's not fixable. And you kind of don't want to take the two cups, but at the same time, it's like, maybe there's freedom over this way. It's like you don't want to tether yourself from the past that you made with yourself, because you're not bored with it yet. It's just kind of like, hmm. Let's see. Page of Pentacles. What the... Uh, Da, 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 da. This like clean slate that you're trying to make with the it's like you're trying to um start over anew because that's like that's what you're um most secure with. It's you know, oh my god, I can't talk. Okay, look at right. Sagittarius rising here. Here's the thing. Sagittarius a Sagittarius, I feel like desires new shit more than they do stuff that's stable. It's just kind of like, you know, if I could go somewhere where no one knew who the fuck I was and just start over, that would be a hell of an adventure I tried to go on. But I'd also be freaking out because I'm Capricorn's son, right? And I would just be like, who the fuck am I going to rely on in this place? And then my Aquarius moon would have to kick in and be like, we're going to make friends one way or the drunken way. And that's just how it's going to go, you know? But with Sagittarius, it's like, a lot of the times, it feels like going on a new adventure is like the most satisfying shit ever. Just places you haven't discovered yet. And sometimes, that's enough to make like a Sagittarius cheat. Because I know, because I used to actually date a Sagittarius. And my brother is a Sagittarius. And I know another person. And another person. Actually, I think I know more Sagittarius than my own sign. Terrible. But a lot of the time, it's like, you know... I don't know, you guys are so scared of being bored. And I get that. And not just bored in general, I mean like bored with like who you've dealt with, what you're doing, your routine, stuff like that. Yeah, and I feel like it's one of those scenarios. It's like maybe you guys broke up and you tried to offer them something. Mm, you tried to be nice? Let's see. Because I'm talking too much about it all. Mm, Sagittarius. 
Okay, yeah, so I was kind of right on the money with it. It's like you want to start something new because that, that that will bring you your security, but it's also like you want that love proposal to stick around so far. Someone... Hard on the floor right there. Do I? Oh, shit. I didn't even see that. Thank you. I want to know. On the board. There you go. That's where you belong. Let's see. Yeah, Sagittarius? It's like... Maybe an earth sign made an offer to you that was like, um, I don't know, maybe not the best gesture in some regard this week, right? And that just, mm, then like, I think what, I don't know if it's something they gave you, some courtesy, some gesture, but it could be possible that for some of you, um, there could be an earth sign possibly younger than you. Who offered something to this emperor dude, and then they got the tongue lashing, and they were forced to sit there looking at what they, <laughs> at what they produced. Like, is this good enough now? Like, you know, it's kind of a sad thing. It's like someone gets um, someone gets like admonished, Admo ad admonished. I'm sorry, I just learned that word. I don't know where it came from, but I've been saying it like motherfucker. But it's like someone gets like um, scolded. For what they offer and then they just go back to their patch being like i guess i got to get rid of the rest of these you know they were looking for a reason to stick around this person comes out with an anger but it's an anger that's a uh, mass with a lot of like truth telling and not a lot of approval making it seem like he was insulted more than you were which is fucked you know, like that was supposed to start something, you know. While over here, we got like the Five of Cups reversed, where someone has some regrets that they can't get over when it came to a separation. And here we have the Queen of Pentacles. Reverse. I'm not sure. Like, she and the page are both facing the same direction. But now she's all mad and shit. Probably, like, cursing people out just because it makes her feel better for being annoyed at the fact she had to see him that day. Oh, where did that one go? Mm. And she is looking back and just talking shit, too. Just being like, you know what? I don't care. Or that could be you, Sagittarius, just uh, bouncing off, just being like, nah, fuck this, you know? Hmm. Honestly, with your shadow, it's kind of like, um... Mm. You are kind of... Well, you're kind of like, just generally done. I feel like you've given so much already, and just for you to have to be... Go back here and look over all the stuff you tried to produce only to turn around and come off as the most immature way you can just cause you know it's gonna bother them more than it will you they just need to think about it for a bit you know it says a lot let's see I don't know the queen of pentacles she's kind of like an unfaithful spouse overbearing mother when she's reversed like this so it's kind of like like what's that about didn't fight for something or someone didn't come fight an argument with her she was left possibly broke didn't want to argue didn't feel the love no more had to fight somebody off in order to start a new cycle that's probably why she's coming back bitching you know I don't know but that's your shadows a fire sign so, if you guys like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course. That's all up to you, but I would greatly be obliged. It rhymed just a little bit. Right? Anyway, I will see you guys later. Toodles. Bye-bye.